Welcome to the latest anime news for the week ending uh, August 14th, 2022. No, I totally did not just look at the date. Let's start <laughs> with some weird anime news. Um, and this is the big news of the week, and it is uh, last two weeks, actually. And it is kind of weird. Crunchyroll bought right stuff. I mean, they just bought right stuff. Uh, for those not familiar, uh, Crunchyroll, the, um, which is sort of Funimation now, Kind of, yeah. Um, um, announced they're going to buy Right Stuff, which is a major anime retailer, um, with the purpose of expanding its e-commerce service. Yep. Um, no terms were disclosed, so we don't know how much it, it cost. Um, the one big change here, though, is um, in addition to that, is that Right Stuff will no longer sell any um, erotica products, so no eighteen plus material. Um, they're basically spinning out a, a service called AeroAnimeStore.com, which will fulfill all of those orders under for right stuff. Um, it is possible that that will become its own service. I don't know. Um, but that, that's going to be what, what takes care of that side of things. I'm going to phase all that stuff out. Oh, no. All my adult Daki Makara. No! <laughs> <laughs> um... And um, obviously, for now, they're still, you know, right stuff and twenty year old stores are separate. That hasn't merged yet. Um, that is a thing. Um, should also point out that uh, this has really interesting implications for Nozomi. Uh, Nozomi being right stuff's licensing arm. Ooh. Yeah. Um, so Anne and reached out to them. Crunchyroll said there's no news about Nozomi at the time, but they. They are evaluating all of the rights, but no other updates at this point. Um, mm. uh, now, the Dirty Pair Kickstarter, they confirmed the Crunchyroll's acquisition um, of Right Stuff does include Nozomi by extension. So Nozomi is part of Right Stuff. Okay. Um, Nozomi is still handling all of their current obligations. And as, as typical in these situations, right, like any existing things have to be completed no matter what happens. Like you can't just, you know, kick, kick that out the door. Right. Um, so all that stuff will, will, will be done, but kind of any future deals, future, and no one's quite sure what's going to go on there. So let's talk about that. I mean, what do you think is going on there? Hi there. Welcome to Country Roll Conglomerate. Mm. We own it all. Well, Sony, Sony's got deep pockets. I mean, if they can do yeah. the thing, they can do the thing. But what we talked about before the stream started, it's like, you know, Funimation, as we talked about way before, you know, Funimation licensing thing, Crunchyroll showing things. Mm -hmm. It's like, okay, Crunchyroll has their own store. Funimation has their own store. It's like, I could easily see if you said, listen, we're just tired of all, all these do things happening all at the same time. We want things mm -hmm. in nice, neat little boxes. Yeah. Crunchyroll, you show stuff. Nozomi and Funimation, you license the stuff, write stuff. You handle selling. You do mm -hmm. DVDs, books, everything. Mm -hmm. We don't want this cross-platform thing on like, a you know, mm -hmm. you know Crunchyroll to try and manage this. And I know Crunchyroll it's not the biggest player for product. So mm -hmm. there are some things that I've had on True. order on back order with crunchy roll for six, to eight months Ooh. that are readily available on other sites. Wow. Right. Yeah. So they're not getting a lot of command for their e-commerce mm -hmm. that I think right stuff is. Yeah. So that if you just fold out that, that crunchy mm -hmm. store and then give it off to write stuff crunchy can just do what it does well mm -hmm. and nozomi and funimation can do what they do well mm -hmm. and leave their next partner to do its thing that's like mm -hmm. that, that makes some sense to me yeah um as we pointed out that the um according to ann um, um they're going this will be widening crunchyroll's e-commerce product offerings um whatever that means it's odd yeah What's to say? Because I think I, I mean, hopefully, it will widen what their new newly acquired e-commerce toy uh, has license <laughs> access to. I don't, mm -hmm. you know, True. I don't know. True. You know what I mean? So that well, would. I don't know. Actually, you bring up a really good point. 
the Crunchyroll store focuses on stuff that Crunchyroll has licensed. Uh, well, uh, license and also like Crunchyroll branded stuff, right? Yes. So you have those two things. Right stuff. I mean, they sell Nozomi stuff, but they're much more about here's a whole bunch of anime merchandise. Like they're not really tied to a licensing thing. Yeah. So it's actually it's, it's a really interesting point is that this, this doesn't, I mean, it would help uh, Crunchyroll sell more things, but it's, it's more broadening into the broader anime e-commerce space, not just we're going to sell more figurines of these these shows we have licensed. Right. Interesting. Hmm. I bet it'd be really weird to have have whatever this new division right mm -hmm. stuff becomes, mm -hmm. have them sell things that N Nozomi, Funimation, Crunchyroll has no connection to. Right. And yeah, be like, oh, that'd be really strange. <laughs> and in, in Right Stuff's announcement, um, Right Stuff will continue to provide the same wide variety of products we've been offering for 35 years, except erotica. Um, so there, apparently, there's no plans to just restrict it. I don't see why you, why you would. <clears throat> right, yeah, me, me neither. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, yeah. But it, it 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 makes it interesting that this is and again, it's kind of this is this is Crunchyroll expanding. This isn't just mm -hmm. we need a better storefront. Yeah. Right. Right. No. No. Stuff. They're they're no. They're 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 turning into the big anime. I mean, that's what it mm -hmm. is. Yeah, it's the yeah. big I, anime, you know... big anime, and and it's and I think if they're if if they're going in the direction which I think we all agree that they're going in, which is letting them each separate each piece do its thing, mm -hmm. then I think it should be fine. You know, yeah. the Zomi does yeah. the licensing. Right stuff sells the stuff, and mm -hmm. you know, Crunchyroll just kind of adds to shows the stuff the to stuff. sell. Yeah. It just shows the stuff. I mean, yeah. that's, I mean, if, if you are willing to do that and, and, you know, just let them, let them be, then yeah. it would be successful. And especially if right stuff is going to continue selling stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, we don't have the anime. Crunchyroll doesn't have the anime, but here we've got the manga for you. Here you go. Oh, dude, you go. of course this, you know, you're starting to think what I'm starting to think. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. oh, this, wait a this minute. Totally, yeah. You're, you're absolutely right. This totally makes sense. It's, and it's also the, the physical. Crunchyroll's like, we don't really do physical releases. Right stuff says, hey. <laughs> right. <laughs> we, can, we can stock that for you. We can ship that out. So, yeah, that makes a lot of point. Yeah. Um, it makes how, a lot of sense. How about also, right stuff is a big going player. Mm. If they can sell things, get get licensed material from mm -hmm. other things that Nozomi, Funimation, and Crunchyroll don't have, mm -hmm. to what degree can you make that a package selling point to whoever is not licensed through you to say, listen, this we're from Nozomi, we're from Funimation. We want to license this thing, and we can give you this broadcast opportunity and these mm -hmm. sales opportunities for the mm -hmm. merch. True. Here's the entire package deal. You sign yeah. this license, and we've got right stuff. Mm -hmm. Is a is a you're known absolutely function. right. Mm -hmm. Crunchyroll originals suddenly have a lot more yeah. behind them. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. a great point. <laughs> I was just like, you're wait absolutely right. Yeah, this is nice leverage because you can offer mm -hmm. the entire package deal. It's like you sign with us, you get all this. Mm -hmm. It's like, ooh, okay, yeah, because mm -hmm. yeah, Netflix does not do that. Nope. Nope. Yep. Yep. Netflix is like you, you know. Welcome to Netflix jail. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, but here's my question. What does Right Stuff get out of this? W you know, why did Sean Kleckner, who runs Right Stuff, why did he sign off on this deal? Dump trucks full of money from Sony. I mean, I think, <laughs> yeah. You know. I imagine that, it, I mean, quite literally, it was the offer you can't refuse. Listen, that we can guarantee mm -hmm. that, you know, we're going to fold this into this operation and right stuff will continue. The name will be out there. Mm -hmm. Here's the amount you're going to get cashed out of it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, what more do you want? Success and your brand moves on. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, yeah. mm -hmm. it'd be nice to be in the back room, mm -hmm. you know, putting uh, VHS cassettes in envelopes and mailing them <laughs> out. But, you know, I, I'm sure he's probably tired of those days. I, I, yeah, I, I wonder when's the last time they, they put a VHS yeah, cassette actually. in box. But if they've been in business I for 35 years, I'm going to guess 30 years ago. <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah, Somewhere close. Um, well, this is what I wonder. Like, you know, does Sean retire, A, 
but also B, does this mean he's like, look, retail's hard. This guarantees employment for all of my employees as long as Sony is in business. Yep. Yeah. Not you know, basically that's ridiculous, but you, you get the, you get the idea. Where it's like this does provide a lot more solidity to write yeah. stuff moving forward. Well, he could also do the Paul Allen thing where he just takes the money and he starts going right, around right. and doing like philanthropic stuff and investigating sunken vessels and whatever. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like that's that could be an opportunity to lift the yoke off of him a little mm-hmm. to do other yeah. side project launch. Mm-hmm. You know, maybe he's had an entrepreneurial idea that he just hasn't had the chance to launch. And now's a good well, time. Here's the other thing. Like Sean's been the one pushing like the dirty pair of Kickstarter. A lot of these, the, the, uh, the Otokono video Kickstarter. Where he's like, we can we can get this thing to a really nice release. Um, this frees up his time to do that more. To say, hey, here's an yeah. amazing piece of anime. Let's get this over here. And with again, with with Funimation behind all of that, that might also become a lot easier. Yep. Mm, could be a quite a win-win. We'll see. Yeah. You know. Until the antitrust suits go in. <laughs> dun dun dun. That that seems unlikely, I would think. Yeah, I'm I'm not feeling that's probably going to yeah. be anybody's rushing to the courthouse for that. Sherman yeah. Antitrust Act of 1912. No, yeah. sit yeah. down. <laughs> fairly different uh, things, and also I don't think anyone will be like, yeah, the Crunchyroll store was a major competitor to write stuff. N- n- no, <laughs> no, no, they Sadly. did their thing, but it mm-hmm. wasn't any competitor to really anybody. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, Good question, uh, John in chat. Does that mean the new Dirty Pair original series release became the property of Sony? Um, probably not, because that was a deal signed before any of this happened. So the right to be with it, with, 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 you know, wherever that goes, and Sony doesn't technically. I mean, Sony would have responsibility to like complete that contract, but they wouldn't necessarily own it in that sense, um, depending on how you define ownership and property. But still. Interesting, interesting times. Um, it should also be pointed out um, um, the Crunchyroll Funimation acquisition was two years ago, announced two years ago, less than two years ago, December 2020. Yep, it's They're not moving, been that long. Man. Yeah, yeah, this is moving fairly fast. But I mean, what it, it, when the time when it happened, we all had been thinking and talking about this for at least a year before that. And I'm sure mm-hmm. Sony was like, you know. Now yep. that we got our ducks in a row, let's just you know put things mm-hmm. in motion and keep the motion going. Yeah. <laughs> like, okay. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. And and also in fairness, like again, if, if they were, um, if, if they were acquired, and, and if if Funimation is going around saying, okay, let's 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 add to their portfolio, you know, now that they have this, it's like, okay, let's 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 yeah. keep adding to it. Like, why why stop? To your point. I was to say you you you've done the panel about like you know overseas contribution to anime sales and funding and it's like you know this might be a good time for these acquisitions to like bump up our our side of the sea <laughs> like anime yeah. contribution you're like yeah go man go exactly um anyway um that's interesting <laughs> yes yes it is definitely a remarkable Little news story. Um, um, also, a fun little thing this week: um, uh, an advertisement was posted on um, the official Ghibli Park website, um, which was a video ad for the new Ghibli Park, um, produced by Hayao Miyazaki with music by Joe Hisaishi and narration by Toshio Suzuki. Um, it is basically a remake of the Totoro opening with the sort of beige background and all the little animals moving around um, for the the new Ghibli Park. Um, very cute. Um, uh, there's a, a cat train, sort of a cat bus, um, carrying characters with a spirit away and Totoro and so forth going across the screen. Um, really fun. Uh, there was actually a, um, a similar version of the ad um, done in 2001 to promote the Ghibli Museum. Oh. So kind of, you know, Connecting in history. If you want to um, check that out, check it out. It's 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 very cute. Uh, they've also shown some screenshots of the various um, parts, uh, um, places in the park, the Hill of Youth, um, the Dondoko Forest, um, um, and the uh, Giant Ghibli Warehouse 
all available, and those are the um, the storefront from Whisper the Heart, the house from Totoro, and um, the sort of indoor area with a bunch of different uh, uh, places from Totoro, or from Ghibli. So it's coming. Totoro Warehouse, you can buy a, a six foot tall stuffed Totoro. Please <laughs> let there be a six foot tall stuffed Totoro. I, I do wonder how much merch they're going to sell. You know, given given Miyazaki's like anti merch stance, I, I just I wonder. I wonder like obviously they will. I'm not saying they won't. Yeah. But I'm I'm wondering how like will it be tucked out of the way? Will it be like right there in front of you? I'm curious. I you know I would imagine crowd demand would mm-hmm. would have to somewhat yep. dictate that. So if it gets a small corner of some place and they're like, listen, this is out of control. People are waiting like an mm-hmm. hour in line to buy a small stuffed Totoro. Yeah. We, we, we need to do something. I think uh, uh, Miyazaki would probably relent a little bit if they were like, listen, yeah. we just, this is unmanageable. They're having a bad time at the park because of this thing. Yeah. Well, I'm sure it was like his, his plan to work from the Ghibli Museum behind glass. <laughs> uh, like, I I'll, just, I'll just draw there. It won't be a problem. And, you know, oh, everyone's. God. <laughs> Tapping on the window. Man. Tapping on the window. Put my face on it. Put my face on it. Do the thing. Do the animation thing. That's not moving. Do the thing. Shut up. God, leave me alone. Um, so yes, uh, that is kind of kind of weird. Doing live action animation is very difficult on the on the on the creatives the uh, arms. <laughs> and the rest. It's very hard. Very hard. Um, let us move on to some anime announcements. My favorite part of the show. Um, the Tower of God's getting a second anime season. Yeah, I know. <laughs> like, geez. Um, uh, we streamed on Crunchyroll. Um, uh, the Webtoon platform will debut the first volume of the graphic novel. Hmm. Um, and so, yeah, it's coming back. There's not a lot more information about this. We did a poster and a little teaser. Um, more Tower of God. No, I mean, they, they left it in a way that they're not at the top of the tower. So, okay. okay, there we go. <laughs> finishing that up is, you know, I know there's, yes, plenty of anime that have no second mm. season or third or whatever that ever ends up. The, you know, the manga goes off and finishes or light novel finishes if the anime never does. So mm. maybe we'll get a finish on this one. Be kind of nice. Compl- closure, completion, thank you. <laughs> Am I wrong? I thought Tower of God was... Like hugely popular when it first came out, and then interest just tanked. I think it's yeah, else. it just okay. fell yeah, off. No, it fell off a cliff. Yeah, <laughs> everyone's like, "Oh, yeah, this is going to be doesn't sing anything." <laughs> Tower of God oh. and God of High School, mm-hmm. yeah. both of them. They're Crunchyroll yeah. exclusives. Mm-hmm. Um, God of High School, I still, its kinetic fighting form mm-hmm. for that mm-hmm. show was amazing. Mm-hmm. Plot wasn't real good. Uh, so it's the same thing where people are like, "My God, the movements of you know the, the money they spend mm. trying to get this look," and then like, "Yeah, so so." Mm. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. So um, we'll see how the second season. Of Tower yeah. Of God goes. Interesting. Um, maybe they can pull it off, but maybe they can be like, "No, there, there's something here. You know, it, it just needs more time to breathe." I I mean, I think it really did have some interesting elements to it. Mm. It just. You know, it was one of those sort of earlier Crunchyroll exclusives. I I don't know what I don't know what they were shooting for because some of it mm-hmm. seemed seems a tad bit disjointed. But I think you've got enough of the groundwork done, enough threads there that a second season done by a mm-hmm. good studio okay. really will pull it together and give it some good cohesion. Okay, money. You know, mm-hmm. did, did, you know they've got now that they're part of Sony. Presumably that deal was in the works. Uh, you know, before the merger, but. You know, now that there's the money, maybe that means that we're going to get some, some decent uh, uh, upscaling yeah. on like their stories. <laughs> Come mm-hmm. on, people, work with me. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. Um, well, I was getting a new uh, Psychopath film. I, I saw that. Did not realize how much Psychopath there is out there. Um, there are, I believe. Let me see here. Um, check. Uh, let me go back. There's as many as Gundam. Um, there, there's a surprising a lot. Surprising. There are there's a lot. Um, I'm going back. There are three TV series, mm-hmm. um, and one, two, three movies. Mm-hmm. Looks what? like 
uh, oh. anime movies, yes. Yeah. Um, huh. Plus, you know, manga, etc. Right. Um, so there's there's quite a bit out there, and this is for the tenth anniversary of Psycho Pass. Um, God, it's been ten catch. years. Yeah, ten no years. joke. Yep. Holy cow! It's been ten years. Imagine it doesn't that. feel like ten years. Jesus. Mm-hmm. Oh, We're God. old. Uh, <laughs> oh God. I have a Psycho Pass T-shirt. That's all I know of the show. <laughs> That's yeah. it. Um, original series with 22 episodes. The second season was 11 episodes. Um, now, a lot of people episodes. pretend that the second season t- didn't mm. exist. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, they, uh, they it's kind of like Highlander 2. Nobody really. Ah, knows. yes. Yeah. It's, it's, it's um, on that level. Ah. The, um, uh, also, um, kind of not help was the second pass. Three was set up by Amazon Prime Video. So it kind of went into that jail. For, uh, uh, for for a while back in twenty nineteen, yeah. yeah. So I think I kind of muted the interest out of here. But hey, cool. Or psychopaths. Yeah, good on them. Yeah. Um, also, I am so glad to hear this. Um, Skate the Infinity is getting an OVA and a second season. Main staff is returning. More more Skate the Infinity. Skate the Infinity. <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I think you mean radical. radical <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, I, you know, wow. Did we? We saw we saw custom decks at uh, at Otakon, yeah. didn't we? Yeah, yeah we did. Why did we not go by and see if there were any Skate the Infinity decks? There had to have. Been. Yeah, of yeah. There, there yeah. had to have been. Well, the only one I saw was the <laughs> if they did boy, they just one. missed out. Oh well, mm-hmm. yeah, there you go. Yeah. I guess mm. that's good skating. <laughs> that's good skating. Absolutely. Wow. Um, uh, uh, also, we are getting uh, two more Haikyuu uh, films called the final Haikyuu films. Shockingly. It's never, it's never fun. 3.0 uh, plus 1.0? No, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hold on. Goodbye, all of Haikyuu. <laughs> um, the, uh, the, the tagline is, who will, be, who will we become tomorrow? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Um, it, ends with, it ends with it ends with the, with the bus carrying them going off a cliff. <laughs> Coming back from nationals, they've won nationals, from nationals, and they're like, "Oh my gosh, the next is the Olympics." Bus off <laughs> <laughs> no. um, I, I got a quote from ANN here: Production IG's first TV anime adaptation of the manga premiered April 2014. The second season, October 2015. The third season, October 2016. The first half of the fourth season, January 2020. Um, the second half was planned to be in July, but was delayed due to uh, COVID. Premiered October 2020. The, the manga has also inspired a series of stage plays, compilation anime films, several video anime, and a clay go. animated short. A clay <laughs> animated short. Wow. Oh, my goodness. And you're right, John. And it's one season of Dallas, in fairness. Yes. Yeah. So. <laughs> wow. Damn. Yeah, there's a lot of Haikyuu out there. I've um, never seen any Haikyuu at all. Um, I, obviously. I okay. Missed, well, I must be missing okay. something. Well, you're fine. <laughs> you're perfectly okay. I mean, I, co- comedy is about to take off, I mean, as a, as a show, so. <laughs> exactly. Um, comedy. Comedy. Also getting some, also some other um, uh, uh, anime, new anime announced. Um, uh, two of them I'm uh, familiar with. One I am not. I'm just going to read this one cold. Uh, the Magical Revolution of the Reincarnated Princess, a Yuri fantasy set of novels, is getting a TV anime next year. I am just going to read off the Yen Press description of the story again. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Despite her supposed ineptitude with regular magic. Mm-hmm. Princess Anistia defies the aristocracy's expectations by developing magicology, a unique magical theory based on memories from her past life. Huh. Okay. One day, she witnesses the brilliant little woman, Euphilia, unjustly stripped of her title as the kingdom's next monarch. That's when Anistia concocts a plan to help Euphilia regain her good name, which somehow involves them living together and researching magic. Little do these two ladies know, however... That their chance encounter will alter not only their own futures, but those of the kingdom and the entire world. That's way less wacky than I thought it would be. Yeah. Um, and it's Yuri, you say? Yuri. They now 
granted, when Anne says Yuri, that could just mean you know, kind of girls' love. It could mean just you know girls living together and whatever. I don't know. Wacky adventures of two r- girl roommates. Mm-hmm. Mm. Um, like Nana. Um, no. Yes. <laughs> um, I'll also point out that, that, that both girls are definitely you know these are teenagers. Like no question. Hmm. Eh. Eh, I'll give it a try. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, if it's, um, if it's an anime, we're going to end up watching the first episode of it. Right. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um, character designs by Naomi Ide of a domestic girlfriend. Oh, okay. And uh, kind nice. of cool. so, uh, And she has the um, Ide power, so we know what she and can exactly. do. Exactly. So. Um, director directed um, Aho Girl and A Hero No Sora. Oh, nice. And the writer um, is the writer of uh, My Youth Romantic Comedy is Wrong, and as I, I, as I expected, rather. Cool. The ones I do know about and can speak, yeah, the Vernon Shirley, basically, um, <laughs> with magical um, wackiness. Hey, uh, actually, I'm, I'm gonna wait on that one for a second. Um, it, this was gonna be wacky anime news, but it's technically an announcement, so I'm gonna put it in there. Um, um, an anime was announced for the light novels "Reborn as a Vending Machine." I now wander the dungeon. <laughs> Okay. Um, yeah, I, 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 I want to see I'm that. In. I'm in. <laughs> I yep. want to see that. I'm in. <laughs> I've I've read the introduction, like the, the the sample <laughs> chapter of this, um, because I was like, really? Yes. Um, he's oh. reborn as a vending machine, um, and he can like, he has limited speech. He can speak to people, and so a busty anime girl, um, like talks to him and ends up like strapping him to her back. And carrying him around the dungeon. <laughs> I'm so vested in this. Yes. <laughs> I'm so vested Fabulous. in this. I mean, it is, it is <sighs> really like, you know, okay, you want Isakai? All right, fine, Isakai. Let's do it. We all knew it was coming to this. Yeah, we all we knew it. it. The Isakai vending machine thing. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> but how can <laughs> you fight like all his vending powers over nine? <laughs> oh, man. Apparently so. Kenner Ramune comes shooting out, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and in worst case scenario, you just drop him on the enemy. Right, exactly. <laughs> it's, a, it's a bludgeoning attack. Fantastic. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, yeah, the announcement teaser yeah. video begins with a narrator introducing a fantasy world that has been saved numerous times by reincarnated, reincarnated people. And we're not be surprised. The fate of the fantasy world now lies with a vending machine? <laughs> so, you know. I mean, really. It's it's bought and sold uh, as uh, as far as I'm concerned. concerned. Absolutely, um, it is. Uh, there were uh, uh, there are a total of three volumes of the light novels, so not uh, hard to pick up. Okay. Um, also, no news on the, the format. We don't know if it's going to be you know what, but right. that is a thing. Um, also, boy, this was a new this is an announcement. Delicious in Dungeon. Yep, is getting an anime series by Trigger. Oh. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Um, um, am I gonna do it? Am I gonna, can I do it? Yes, I can. You can do the thing. Yeah, a guy I work with said that he's, he's like, Do you know there's gonna be this thing coming out by Trigger? I'm like, What is it? He's like, Oh, it's like a food related thing in a dungeon. I'm like, Oh, this is gonna be insane. <laughs> yeah, I kind of like this manga. <laughs> um, Only it's slightly. fantastic. Just want to give you guys also just kind of the idea of the visuals, general art style. It is really cool. Um, very much sort of D and D, but you have to actually eat the monsters that you, as you, as you uh, go through. Um, so sort of cooking story along with fantasy uh, monster thing. I might have the first volume of that for some reason. Oh, really? Cool. I think it was a loot crate like a while okay. ago, and I was yeah. just like, it showed up, and I was like. I don't know what this is. <laughs> <laughs> What's weird is I don't see this as a trigger show. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Is it doesn't. Oh, but I hope it is a trigger. You know what I mean? I hope it's not like trigger is going to adventure into something. Let's try a totally different style. Let's do a different yeah. thing. No, 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 no. Do the trigger thing. Do do the thing yeah. you do with trigger and make it the, make this thing be that thing, please. I want to see this happen. I don't know. I don't, I, it's, it, and the reason is it's kind of like trigger announcing that they're going to do Eurocamp. 
was yeah. like, I just, I, I, mm, I, I don't know how you're going to, that just doesn't seem That's what's like so good... fascinating. That was like, it could be visually yeah. nuts. And that's what mm -hmm. I'm waiting for. <laughs> true, true. Um, also, in fairness, um, um, what was the anime from this past season? It was I, was it by Trigger um, that we were like that? Like th this isn't matching their style at all. Like, it was like, a, like an idol anime or something. Oh, it was the, uh, the uh, uh, strike. It was strike witches. Strike wasn't witches it? thing. Luminous, yeah. luminous witches. Luminous witches. witches. Right, right, right. Yeah. Yep. Um, and that was by what was that? That by. It was not that Mappa. Was... No, it was was it? I think, so. I think the original was Mappa, wasn't it? Um, Shaft. Shaft. Yep. Shaft. That was yeah. it. And they were like, "Nope, we're just doing strike witches." Yep. So this is one of those things where they're like, "You know, we'll obviously add some triggerish things to it, but we're we're going to try to be more faithful." Who knows? Find out. Hopefully, they've been, they've been given, you know, permission to paint with a broad brush, in yes. the trigger style. So exactly. that they're not penned in by anything. Mm -hmm. We'll see. I'm, I'm sure, you know, they're trigger. I'm sure people know what they're yeah. going to do. And they're like, oh, okay. Um, uh, let's move on to some sort of general interesting anime news. Um, Aru Ferretta from Commonplace of the World's Strongest. They posted a scene from their upcoming OVA um, for two days. Yep. They put it online. Took it down two days later. Um, it's a forty-minute OVA. Put it out there. You know, if you if you caught it, good. If not, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I know, I missed it. <laughs> yeah, so that's a little unfortunate. Um, but um, kind of an interesting thing, you know. You want to do that? I don't know. Well, I'm sure somebody out there had the wherewithal to have commentary and reaction to that video. You think somebody made a copy? Maybe? I. Just a reaction, not just a reaction. real, yeah. just not copied. Right. You know, no, nothing no, no, like no. that. No, be... no, nobody would pirate. No, pi no, no, pirate. no, 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 no. It's, no, no, it's, no, no. it's them watching it and you seeing what they're watching and then being like, ooh, ah, so that we know what they feel like yes. watching. <clears throat> and people make money off that. That's <laughs> yeah. Um, let's see here. Um, other interesting news. Um, Way Back Camp's getting an English dub, which I'm looking forward to. Um, various voices on the cast, I will admit, I am not as familiar with this group. Um, we're definitely, you know, a lot of modern anime English dubber voices on here. The voice so. of Sean Lee as Rin. <laughs> Whoa. That would definitely be memorable. Yes, I would, I would yes, be aware would. of that one. Um, let me see here. Um, I'm just trying to find. Wow, uh, the voice of uh, Desco has done everything. <laughs> wow. Um, yeah. um, I'm going. So, just a few of her credits include Akashic Records, Apple Seed 13, Ara Ferretta, Assassination Classroom, Attack on Titan, Baka and Tess, Bleep Pop, and others. Black Clover. Certain Magical Index, Cardcaptor Sakura, Clear Card, Classroom of the Elite, Code Geass, Defrag, D. Grayman, Danganronpa, Death Parade, uh, Disappearance of Nagato, Yuki-chan, Dragon Ball Z Kai, Dragon R Academy, Drifters, Erika 7 AO, Evangelion 3.0, and that's just into the E's. Holy crap! <laughs> <laughs> well, somebody's got talent and an excellent agent. Mm -hmm. so that, that's, oh, I'm sorry. That's under one of her names. <laughs> How many aliases does she have? Um, let me check. Um, just the one. Just the one. Okay. Um, but that also she's has a lot also of She's also known as Eleanor Roosevelt. <laughs> Oops, Chamberlain. Um, sorry. <laughs> Very obscure Mr. Chester <laughs> joke there. Um, you almost got me on that one. No, hey, holy crap. Hey. <laughs> Um, and but, how to do the yeah. voice of this diminutive uh, <laughs> uh, girl from Eurocamp, Will Chamberlain? What? <laughs> the show played by Morgan Freeman. Um, <laughs> nice. I would. I, I mean, I'd that's that. when the Desco knew she screwed up. Yeah. <laughs> wow. 
Uh, um, anyway, uh, One Piece film Red made about 5 billion yen so far in theaters. Wow. Not too shabby. Uh, that's about 37 million US dollars. Uh, 3.6 million tickets. Is it the end of One Piece or is it just another of the One Piece? Oh, films? this is it's just continuing on. It is, it is <laughs> it's going, going. Well, uh, I believe Oda recently announced that he is starting the final arc. Which is how many? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, how many <clears throat> this volumes is or, how, or how many years, Steve? I, I'm going to yeah, guess about both. another 50, 50 years. <laughs> um, it's doing... Uh, better than its previous film. It earned 78% more in its first two days than the previous film did in three. Hmm. Um, uh, also has IMAX screenings uh, and a bunch of other things. Uh, Country World will be theatrically screening it in the US, Canada, Australia, and New Zealand this fall. So you want to check that out, you will have opportunities. But you need to see all the other One Piece. Yes. Yeah, yeah, you need to, you need in to order see, to understand see, anything. Yeah, all of it to get anything right. out of it. I mean, how, how on earth... Would you understand, you know, the this is the um, 15th One Piece movie. Exactly. How, without if you don't see back, the other 14, you're lost. Right. You know, without going back and watching, I am desperately clicking through to try to find the, um, let's see here. The uh, beginning of One Piece. The, the beginning of One Piece. Um, because you get, let's see here. There's that. There's that. There's that. There's a lot of One Piece. It turns out. A few might surprise you. Things. <laughs> um, looking through. Okay. Yeah. 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 Um, so yeah, you have to go back and watch. That can't be right. And ends behind. They only list 892 episodes. They're way that, off track. They're they're, they're way off track. Yeah, yeah, it's over a thousand by now. Thing? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 1,028, apparently. So you got to get through that. And the 14 the movies. Film, and the 14 movies, right. Um, and the specials. And specials, so yes. Got to get through that. Um, and and, and John and Chad is right. But, but there's also the manga. Like The manga is better. You got to get the yes. context of the manga. <clears throat> Yeah, because you gotta you gotta compare them and see where it's like where they drifted off the original track. Yeah, right. You know, oh. yes, yeah, so you gotta go back to um, scrolling, scrolling through, scrolling, <laughs> um, keep, keep scrolling. Volume ninety eight. You know, uh, all ninety eight volumes. <sighs> <laughs> oh my god! At least they have omnibuses now, so you can get them. You know, you can. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they will arrive in just the size of a small cube refrigerator. <laughs> exactly. Oh. <laughs> How handy. <clears throat> um, speaking of, um, our final news story this. Uh, so, uh, Endman is saying in the chat, um, One Piece should probably end around the 110, 120 volume mark. Uh, that was uh, two, three years ago. Now they're estimating 130 to 140. Of course they are. The end of, One Piece. of course so, they are. Around 160. Yeah, <laughs> right. Finally end. We're thinking 200. And then, and then, and then and, and about, what, about volume 160, it'll end with. And now we get on to the real story. <laughs> it won't just go black screen and naked space what? babies. I uh, couldn't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Never know. Naked pirate babies? Yeah, exactly. um, <laughs> that would be hilarious. Carla, you know, Carla the comes ocean in and wipes them a bunch all of little out. babies on the ocean. You know. yeah. <laughs> what the hell happened? <laughs> um, Shreisha announced on Thursday that the One Piece manga has surpassed 500 million copies published worldwide as of the release of the 103rd compiled volume on the same day. This um, sets a Guinness World Record, uh, which is, uh, well, this updates its Guinness World Record for the most number of copies worldwide. It set that record in June 2015. <laughs> Damn. And it's just been updating the record ever oh. since. It's getting higher and higher. They also have the world record for uh, the most number of trees cut down. <laughs> you know that whole, like, deforesting the rainforest thing? Sorry. It's all one piece. 
Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be a great time lapse photo. Just this large, lush greenery. <laughs> First volume of One Piece is published. <laughs> you just notice there's like a little bit of thinning in one small spot. And now today, the 100th, <laughs> like there's no forest. Like, oh my God, what the hell? Uh, so that's an interesting question. What do you do with One Piece? Like, and obviously n none of us are like deep into One Piece, but um, with Bleach, you just kind of stopped. With Naruto, you do the next generation. Right. With Dragon Ball Z, you continue it. You do you Dragon Ball Super, same characters, a couple of years in the future. You know, some of them have kids, whatever. What do you do with One Piece? What what's, what do you think is is the right the right um, take there? In all honesty, the right thing to do <clears throat> is to just end it, mm. and just to to have it a the appropriate hopefully the appropriate end that it should mm. have. Mm. So I think what will he becomes the pirate king, king, mm. right? Yeah, and you know, and the it, you know, like the tales of Narnia, and you know, and mm. everything was happily ever after. Mm -hmm. uh, I think what the reality is is that you know, okay, th that'll be done, and then. We'll find out who got married and who had kids, and it's going to be mm -hmm. the next generation, okay. whoever's going to take it over, and it's gonna, not going to be anything like mm -hmm. the One Piece, but that right. you know today it's going to be because it, it mm -hmm. has to be because it has to be somebody, you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> the poor dude's got to stop at some point, <laughs> <laughs> you know. So, you know, so I, I think that's probably where it's going to go. They'll, they'll go or they'll go into the stories that that, that people were interested in. You know, wanted more of this character, wanted more of that character. You know, just side project, side project, side project. One Piece is not going to end with the end of One Piece. It's mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. we're we're gonna get we're gonna get ten more years of, of mm -hmm. we're gonna get oh hey go and Yashihime right mm -hmm. exactly Luffy yeah. style yeah. yeah yeah it'll be Luffy's yeah. daughter after he had become king of the pirates right. it's, and right. mm -hmm. like they you know. She was at boarding school, and the when some mysterious storm <laughs> storm hit the palace mm -hmm. of the King of the Pirates, and his his, his her, the child's father and mother are gone mysteriously, mm -hmm. and now Monkey D. Luffy Jr. girl has to go out and sail the seas to find her father and restore right. him. along with her classmates. Exactly, her classmate. yep. mm -hmm. right. or also the mm -hmm. children of the other. Right, exactly. Of course, yes, right. Yeah. 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 Yes, John. What would you do? Where do you think they, they, they should go? I, I think that's entirely where it will go. It's mm -hmm. going to be like, it's going to be their kids and they're going to do their thing. Um, I, I mean, I just, I can't, I can't wrap my head around how much one piece there is to know. <laughs> sorry. To, I'm sorry. Sorry. Continue. Sorry. To, I just, you know what I mean? Continue. Just to think about how do you end something that is like, yeah. that is so enormous. It just, mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, you've arced everything you can arc. Well, and you just keep going, and and th that's a great point. Like this ending will not satisfy the fans. No, right? Because there's so this much going on with it. Yeah. So, I don't know. I mean, I mean, that's that. I just the easiest end is Monkey D. Luffy is king of pirates. He finds the pirate treasure. Mm -hmm. That's end. But mm -hmm. that solves absolutely nothing. And there's yeah. that's why I think it's one sixty episode No. It's going to be 250, 300. Mm. They're just going to keep going. And John is, John is right. Now the daughter must, now must find the two piece. Yeah. I, just, I love that. It's, yes. You um, love one piece, get ready for two piece. Yeah. Uh, um, I, I, I mean, a, an alternative ending would be like, you know, do a red wedding style ending of. Of, uh, <laughs> of one piece where they all just come in into the dinner they're about to celebrate Luffy being the, the pirate king then <laughs> Scarface yeah total Scarface I think can't we do an end, an end of uh, Evangelion and just have mm. Luffy sitting on a chair in a room where everybody just claps yeah we go the <laughs> king, and that's the end of the I world. would give oh. them <laughs> so much credit if like the end was a whole, the, the whole ending was a parody of Evangelion. Yeah. It, was, it was all just. You know. <laughs> oh, Steve almost went. <laughs> They're on the moon. Oh, there's a whole thing there. Yeah, Luffy like, pops out of the little coffin, going, "Oh God, there's already been thirteen of me." Yes. <laughs> it's finally the end of One Piece Galleon. <laughs> yes, exactly. Um, if I were them, I'd do spinoffs. Um, I do other stories set in the same world 
different characters. That way, the existing characters can pop in. You can see, oh, you got married, oh, whatever. Yeah. But you can you can kind of go kind of like Gundam, kind of like Macross. You can have your own other storylines, you know, and then you can have other creators come in if they want to, whatever. I think that's kind of the easiest way of doing it. Yeah. Um, it's a way but, to keep pumping cash out of the franchise for sure. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, but yeah, it's it, it's it's weird. The other the other thing too, though, and the, the thing that makes that difficult is One Piece is also so defined by Oda's style. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How how closely do you match? I don't know. I don't know how you do that. Well, think about this for a moment. It's going to end, right? Mm-hmm. The main series is going to end, and you're always going to have merch, right? You're always going to have mm-hmm. the the, the yeah. t-shirts, the things, and you know you're always going to have that. But for a significant portion, that's the end for a lot of employment. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's true. Like, like, like for a lot of people, that's that that is the end. Mm-hmm. You know, and people are going to walk away and go, "I literally have been doing this all my life." Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, like I have been like. Mm-hmm. Can you just imagine that? Yeah, I've been doing the narr- I've been doing the penciling on the manga for my entire. Oh God. Now it's mm-hmm. over. You know, where's my what, you, what are your what are your skills? I could draw a straw hat. Like no yeah. one has ever <laughs> yeah. drawn a straw do a hat. pork pie hat and it's just like ah. But you know, it's but it's gonna be an end, and like the amount of merch is gonna dial back, the amount mm-hmm. of things are gonna be dialing back mm-hmm. more and more. And so, you know, there's gonna be a lot of retail. I mean, this is kind of like I run into this in, in, in my business mm-hmm. where we have a wine and we have a vintage and we have you know something happens and and you know like you, it goes on and on and on and then suddenly uh like we're experiencing this right now with sancera type wines where the <clears throat> the fields are just destroyed uh there's actually uh, a, a fire drought and the whole nine years oh, going no. on in europe oh. so then so people are coming in they're like going well i've had this for so long and mm-hmm. then now there's nothing to sell why yeah. Are you giving me PTSD about oh, that. Oh shit, man! She's <laughs> got off work. And she's, oh, she's just, it's it said, uh. <laughs> but it. But the the point is, is that this is a whole like there's a whole support structure of that mm. people who are employed to do mm. with this thing, and so now suddenly it's just like it's all gone. What do you do? Mm-hmm. And so literally, you know, like for a lot of these retailers, they're going to have to go. We don't have all this one piece meat or merch anymore. Where's the next thing? Who's yeah. the next thing? Mm-hmm. What is the next thing? Tower of God. Yeah. <laughs> Tower of One Piece. Ta- oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. No, I, I think you're absolutely right. I think they, they've got they got to be some way of keeping this going. Um, I mean, we're talking about right stuff. Right stuff is like probably going. Damn. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> well, there'll be a spinoff with what is it, Nami? Robin Nico. Mm, mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like the 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 ladies of One Piece. I'm sure there will be like some mm-hmm. kind of thirst for a spin-off of theirs. Yeah. So. Exactly. Um I'm actually checking to see as I recall, um is One Piece is a toy property, right? Um I that I could not I, say. I, uh yeah, it is. Um um, I, I know, like they call that out on their like financials, as like a significant percentage of the money they make is just one piece. Um, yeah. <laughs> so all their so. all their finance department people are just like panicking. There's fire everywhere. It can't end. Never end. <laughs> you can't let it end. Exactly. I um, just bought a new computer. I need this thing to go on for at least another ten years. <laughs> So yeah, that that'll be a very odd time when when that happens. Yeah. If it happens, yeah. Um, yeah, let's hope we don't get a non-ending either. Yeah, <laughs> to be continued twenty years from now. Ah, damn mm-hmm. it. That would be. I'm sorry. It would be so awesome if it just like ended like Opus. Satoshi. Oh Kong's yeah, Opus. yeah. And it's yeah. just, and it's just like it's in, it's like in the middle of an action panel. It just goes, yeah, yeah. We got nothing else. Quiet. Sorry, goodbye. Here you go. <laughs> like, what? Tokyo Stops. would burn. <laughs> Tokyo would burn. There'd be a lot of anger, folks. <laughs> mm-hmm. That yeah, that would. Be, oh man, the deciding wow. blow is about to be struck. Will monkey? <laughs> what? What? 
Oh, that would. Oh man. <laughs> yeah. Not cool people. Not 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 cool. Um, or like it it does that, and then it just smash cuts to the end, and oh boy, I'm glad we got out of that. Well, you know, they, <laughs> yeah, they do them all. There. <laughs> no action scene, no nothing. Damn it, you <laughs> you had to be there. <laughs> well, we were oh. fighting in a fog, so it's just panels, white panels. <laughs> <laughs> Stuff happened. <laughs> yeah. <And then> yeah. <laughs> that would be, pr- I'd, I'd, you know, I actually will come, I'd be curious to see that now in an anime mm-hmm. where it's just like a big battle's about to come up and it's like, it's getting foggy. This is going to be <laughs> difficult. And all you see is just like not moving, like yeah. not clouds moving, just a flat anime <laughs> picture. And you hear that, ching, 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 ching. <laughs> and then, then you go to a scene where everybody's laying around going, Man, that was an epic fight. Like, uh, uh, you cheap bastards. <laughs> well, I bring that up because they mm. did that with mm. two Marvel comics. One with oh, Alpha wow, Flight and they and particularly fighting in the snowstorm, but more mm. importantly with um, Daredevil, Matt Murdock, because he's yeah. blind and you. It's literally oh, interesting. Black panels, yeah. like the entire fight mm. thing, which goes on for like four pages. Is nothing just but kind of like his interior monologue, and you're just like, yeah. <laughs> I'm having trouble. I understand what you're doing, but <laughs> you're, you're wrong. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, yeah, there, there are good ways and bad ways to do that. Yeah. Um, oh boy, um, that's all the news for this week. Thanks for watching. We will see you all next week.